Hey everyone! So today's video is a really exciting video because I've been really, really wanting to try this product. It is the Blendiful. And we are going to be comparing between this and a beauty sponge today. Here's the Blendiful, here's the beauty sponge. Uh, also, I know the background's kind of weird because it's my kitchen, but in my apartment there is like zero natural light except for it's a little bit in this spot even though I still need lights. Um, it's the only spot that has like any kind of natural light, so that's why I'm doing it here. And anyway, we are going to be reviewing this and we're going to be comparing it to this. I want to say that I thought this bag was black. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually brown. Not that it really matters, but first thing is the price that I want to bring up. The price of this is $18. If you're watching this, you probably already know because it's in like every review. $18 for this, but you get two little blenders and let's, let's open her up. So you get the little tiny one, which looks like this. This is so soft. You get the big one, which looks like an egg. There we go. There we go. And um, this is $18 for these two. And then a, this kind of sponge is a real technique sponge. It just looks like this. It's like, um, I think it's like $7. It's pretty cheap. That's $18 for this and seven or so dollars for the real technique sponge. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to do this half of my face with the Blendy Fool and this half of my face with the Real Technique sponge. I'm just gonna go blend uh, or wet my sponge and then we'll go ahead and start comparing. Yay. Okay guys, so I have wet my sponge. My foundation that I'm using is gonna be the Born This Way foundation in the color Light Beige. And let's go ahead and begin. I'm just gonna do it as I usually do it. I'm gonna get a little closer, so. Okay, here we are, up close and personal. So I did about a pump here and I'm going to start blending it out with my sponge. So I'm going to add some more and some on my nose. So I now have foundation on this side of my face. That's how that looks. There's still, I have texture on my skin, so it, it always looks like that. I have some like, especially from dryness. But let's let's compare and use the Blendiful, which is like the exciting part. So here we go. And let's see how it blends out. And does it look different? Does it look airbrushed? as some people are saying that it looks. Here we go. Okay. Oh. I'm just, I think this is how you're supposed to use it. I was looking on the website and it looks like people, and also some reviews looks like people are just wiping this kind of. Um. Okay guys, I'm trying to form my thoughts on this right now. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more on this side just because I want it to have as much as I added on the first side. Let's just blend this out further. Oh my nose area. Oh. Okay, so far I do feel like the Blendiful was like really quick to blend as opposed to the, the sponge. Took a little bit longer and a little bit more dabbing on my part. Looking at this, you guys, I'm dead serious. The sponge side looks like my skin just looks like it has a lot more texture on it. I really, really want you guys to see this. That a lot, I think is a lot smoother. I mean, this foundation is not like, oops, what was that on there? Was that, was that part of this? I just feel like I can see a lot more texture like 
here as opposed to like here. Yeah. This side looks a lot smoother in my opinion. It just looks a lot nicer. Okay, the, how do I, I feel like this side looks like it, my skin just kind of like drank the foundation, not drank it, but like it's sunk in and like looks smooth. And this side, it just kind of looks like the foundation is sitting on top of my face and like on top of the texture on my face. So I don't know. Anyhow, so yeah, she says apply your foundation in a sweeping and buffing. I just want to make sure I'm following the directions. And then the step three is concealer. Use a pointed tip to easily lay down a smooth and even amount of concealer where position is needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my concealer and then we will see how it looks. Um, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, this one here. Um, this one is in shade 15. So let's go ahead and do the sponge first. Just gonna add some concealer there and blend it out with my sponge using the tip. One of the things I don't like about the sponge is that it does leave like stamping marks here. Um, but you can obviously like smooth those out. It just takes a little bit more time. Let me add a little bit more. And add some concealer on my smile lines just because um, I don't like my smile lines and they do show. And in my opinion, they're like a little bit darker than like the rest of my face. I don't know if it's just in my head because I'm self-conscious about them, but I don't know. I just like to add some there as well. Okay. There is that. Okay. Now going in with the sponge in the way that she instructed by going like this with it. I kind of want to use this like really little one for that just because I feel like it's going to be a lot easier to get in there, but I don't know. I'm gonna try with the big one first just because she's using the big one on that picture. So, let's do that. Pointed tip. And we're gonna blend that out. Okay. Looks nice. I do feel like it's kind of hard for me to get in there fully, so I think I'm gonna try with the little one, this one here, to blend that out. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more like I did on the other side. I do have a little piece of this black one that just came off my face, let me, whatever. You probably can't see it, but it's like a little bit, a little fiber from this. It's not a big deal to me, but, um, if it were all over my face, it would it would bother me, but it was just one little piece there, so not a big deal. Okay, so that was really quick. Let me finish my smile lines on this side and then I'll let you guys know what I think of how it applies concealer. For the concealer, I think the concealer looks fairly similar on both sides. I think they look the same. What do you guys think? Um, the only thing is that the Blendiful side, I feel like it blended a little bit quicker when I started using this one. This one to me is a little large for concealer, at least for my face. Um, but yeah, this was just a little bit faster to use than the sponge. But I think they both they look they look good. I don't I don't think that the Blendiful looks better than the than the uh, sponge as far as concealer goes. So I realized that I went, um, I skipped over step four, which was contour and went straight to powder. Um, I did that on accident, but I usually set my uh, concealer pretty quickly after I put it on just cause I don't want it to start creasing. So, I mean, I'm still gonna contour just to see how it looks. Um, but looking at it, I already uh, set the, the powder down. So looking at it, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can, so it looks like the beauty sponge, um, it looks good. It just kind of looks like the powder sits on top. With the sponge, I do feel like I have to dust off excess. So I'm gonna do that. But 
with the Blendiful, I don't feel like I have to do that, but they both look really nice. Okay, so next is contour. I don't usually cream contour. I'm going to for the sake of this video. It's the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze. I don't even know if this is my shade. If it's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, I just really wanted to use a cream contour for the video just because I want to see how it just how well it does everything. So I'm going to apply it here. I don't know if I think... Ooh, that looks dark. I'm going to blend it out and see how it's going to look. Okay, so there's that side. Now let's do, now let's do this side, see how that side looks with the Blendiful. Uh, it's about the same, I think. Wait, let me read the, let me make sure I'm following directions before I do this. Okay, contour, oh. Fold in half around your finger and use the stripping motion to pick up and lay down and contour the angles of the face. I was doing it wrong, so good thing I checked that. Fold around your finger like this, I think is how you do it. And then contour. Okay, yeah, that's a lot easier. So I'm bringing it in towards my face and it's blending out really easily. Yep, looks good. Looks really good. See, this is why the Blendiful is kind of really impressing me because it's doing it so quickly. Like, I don't think um, that the Blendiful is like way, 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 way better than the sponge, but I do like how quickly you can blend stuff out with the Blendiful and it also looks really airbrushed. Okay. I think both sides look good though. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. I think I like the Blendiful side a little bit more, but. That was really, really fast. Again, if the contour looks like shit, the color, that's because that's my fault. That's not the sponge or the Blendiful's fault. That's me picking out the wrong color for my face, okay? But there we are. I think they both look good. With the contour, I think both look pretty good. What do you guys think? Which one do you guys think looks better? Here. And then some with the Blendiful. Excess, you do have to dust that off on the this side here. And then um, I'm gonna, I don't need to dust anything off on this side. Now that that's done, I'm gonna do my blush. And I'm gonna fast forward through that. I'm not gonna apply my blush with the with sponges because I don't ever do that. I'm not going to. Okay guys, so I went ahead and applied the um, blush on, on both sides, just with the regular brush. But I'm gonna apply my highlight now and just to see how it looks. This is the highlight I'm using. It's the Super Shock Highlight from ColourPop in the shade on the cusp. It's kind of like a cream type highlight, so I figured it would be kind of good to see how it's gonna work with these products. So first with the sponge, we're just gonna go in there and apply. Okay. Okay, that looks really good. Looks really, really good with the sponge. Now let's try the little Blendiful. I'm gonna use the little one for this. I'm gonna use a little tip there. And I'm gonna apply it here. That looks really pretty too. Um, I think that they are tied, right? With the highlight. I think they both apply highlight beautifully. So, I think we're done. 
Okay guys, so now that we've compared and the look is completely finished, my final thoughts from the Tati Beauty Blendiful and the Real Technique Sponger, like any kind of beauty sponge, I prefer the Blendiful just because it's a, a lot quicker and it does make your makeup look, look more smooth. Like I definitely see it. I didn't know at first if I was like, is it in my head? Because I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, it looks airbrushed. Um, and so you, you naturally have a bias when you're hearing that a lot. So I was like, am I just kind of biased? But no, I see the blendiful side looks smoother. Maybe not head on because I mean, from this distance, you can't really tell. It looks pretty much the same. But when I look, when I look at my face, I see the texture a lot more on the um, sponge side than I do with the Blendiful. The Blendiful just kind of like makes, presses it into the skin really nicely. Your foundation, your powder, as opposed to the sponge, just kind of things just kind of sit on top of the face, in my opinion. Um, but I definitely, definitely want to know what you guys think. Um, do you guys um, think that? this side looks better this side looks better do you think it's worth it um, because this product is a little bit more um, even though you get two I feel like this one is not as useful as this one although it was useful in the fact that I could put my concealer on I, I did like it for that because I don't think I have a ton of space down here so this was more useful for me you can wash this in the washer which is nice but you can also just wash these with soap which is nice um, so yeah, what are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Do you think this side looks better? Do you think this side looks better? Do you think it's worth it? Um, definitely let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It would help me out a lot and I'll see you guys next time.